Oh, sorry guys. I think the camera was pointed at my neck. That's so weird, right? Today we are in Silverton, still, since our last video. But today we're gonna go hike. Slow can to Evans Creek, and then Evans Creek to Emerald Lake if all goes well. It's a really long hike, so we'll see what happens. But That's what our plan is anyways. I'll flip the camera around and see these beautiful mountains in the morning here. Check that out. Valhalla. Actually, I don't think that is Valhalla, but I can't remember what mountain range it is. I'll put it up on the screen, but we're going to Valhalla Provincial Park. That's where the trail is we're going, so here we go. All right, so we were headed down the highway there and we saw a viewpoint and we can't resist a good viewpoint. And the sun is hitting the mountains right now and it's just accenting every little detail. It's beautiful. Look at that. We're high up there actually. Wow. And we're going, see that glacier up there? We're not going there. <laughs> Let's see what other kind of view we can find over here. Beautiful views here. That fence is irritating me though. <laughs> but they probably don't want people to fall off this cliff. So we came to a different spot here and there's zero fence. There's a giant cliff down there. All right, guys. So we're at the entrance to Valhalla Provincial Park. And we're in uh, Slocan City here. Slocan Village. It's called Slocan City, but yeah, it's really a village. So we're here. And then our idea was to hike to South Evans Beach and then go up to Emerald Lake. Um, and we talked to a local at the lookout there and he was like, oh, bud, plan for Evans Beach. As in like, <laughs> you're biting off more than you can chew. Cause we're like planning to do it in one day, but uh, we don't know. So 2.5 hours, slow can to Evans Creek, 2.5 hours. Mm -hmm. And then to another 2.5 hours, five hours, one way. Oh, okay, I see what he's saying. It's gonna be like a hell of a trek if you do that. So we'll see. We'll go from here to Evans Creek first, and then we'll go from there and we'll just decide because we might be exhausted or... Either way, it's gonna be a beautiful hike. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so you start off on this bridge here. And I believe this is probably the, I think this is the Slocan River. Coming out of uh, Slocan Lake back here. And then you just have to, hike for like a kilometer down this uh, dirt road to get to the entrance. Here, uh, so 24K to Gimli. Those are beautiful. Uh, there's a bunch of lakes there. Gwillem Lake, Gwillem Lakes there. And we're doing the Slocan to Evans trailhead. So you're not allowed to park down there. All right. Here we are at the head of the trail. Casey's out of breath already. <laughs> Just joking. We didn't even hike nowhere. So right away, we, you got this old cabin here. Look at that. I don't know if they use it anymore. There's a trail going up the hill right away, hey? No, we're going along the lake. We gotta be doing the right trail here. Wow, cool old cabins though, hey? Coming up on some really nice beaches with cabins. So some of these are boating only. There's no road out here anymore, so. Pretty nice though. All right guys, we're like 20 minutes into our hike and we're like, we have to stop here already. Look at this place. <laughs> this is pure paradise right here. You don't have to go anywhere else, but we will. 
Whew. Feel that water. Oh. So nice. Actually, the water's not bad. So far this hike is pretty moderate it's up it's down you know not too strenuous and it's just really beautiful boulder rama baby Woo. yeah so a lot of it's uh boulders we're just hiking over big boulders the whole time it's like a rock slide coming down from valhalla so there's all these little trickling streams coming down from the glaciers super fresh water i bet you could probably drink right out of that i would oh i'm sure i'm positive if you well i'm not positive you can never be positive but if you get water right out of that trickling little part where it's coming down that's your safest bet or even up there where it's there's a little waterfall but there's no way it's polluted it's coming straight down from a glacier Came to a nice lookout here. There's actually forest fires. There's a couple forest fires. There's one up on this hill, literally in Valhalla Park. And then as we were driving that highway there this morning, there was another forest fire down below the highway. So gotta hope they don't close that highway. It'll be a long way around, baby. Oh, there's a little trail going up here. Let's I'll check this out. Screw it guys, I'm drinking this water. There ain't nothing cleaner than that. Oh. Mm. Damn, that's so good. It's all filtered by the moss. Beautiful. That's as pure as it gets, straight from the glaciers. All right, guys, so we were just making our way to this nice, beautiful white sand beach. And then there's a sign here. So you can get to Emerald and Cahill Lake from here. Or we go to Pebble Beach, which is down there. I have no idea how far it would be from here to get to Emerald. That's the only thing. We have no idea what we're in for. We don't have, like, service. So, I don't know, man. Well, I think we should just stick to what our original plan was. Yeah, okay. Oh. Easy. Hmm. Pebble Beach or Emerald Lake. All right, we're going down for now. Down to the lake. Ugh, dry off. And then I'll give it some thought about going up to Emerald from here. Don't really know what our best option is. All right, so we decided to go down. <clears throat> Because you're not allowed to go down straight down the trail you gotta go up and over and that other beach we saw down there looks private oh wow there's the forest fire look at this forest fire burning right there right on the highway definitely not a good thing see that it's burning right along the highway and we gotta drive along there so hopefully they don't uh, shut down the highway Here's a little cove. Look how amazing that is. So nice. <laughs> I think we'll stay here forever. What if you could camp down here? Like, I guess there's nowhere to pitch a tent. That's how much sweat I got on my shirt so far, guys. <laughs> Glad to take a break. So yeah, we got our little spot here. It's paradise. It's a little smoky out here now. As you can see, that haze coming from that fire, it's brutal. All right, like usual, we're about to uh, cook here. Got some organic Indian food again from, uh, what is it called, Tasty Bite? Yeah, Tasty Bite. My dad won that box the other day of Indian food and they never, <laughs> they never experienced Indian food, so they're like, 
You guys can just take this. I'm like, you guys don't know what you're missing. But yeah, we're chilling here. I got this uh, Kootenai True Ale. Because we were in the liquor store and we're like, what's like a local beer? Like, we want something that represents Kootenai's. And then this one just said straight up Kootenai. And I'm like, well, what better way to represent Kootenai's than Kootenai? Don't know how good it is. Never tried it. It's 1898, so it's been around for a long time. Since the days of old. All right, let me sample this beer. I think I got some sand in there. That's good. Not bad at all. Kootenai, true ale. Not bad at all. That's their motto. Casey's going in topless. Woo! <laughs> that's a first for her, probably. So that's a first for you. So I think we came to the conclusion that we're just gonna hang out here. Cause you don't wanna always think the grass is greener on the other side. And we're just like, it doesn't get much better than this, you know? Like, we're just kicking it. Private We've hiked, beach. yeah, we got our own private beach. No one's gonna bother us here. Crystal clear water, we can swim. We got beers, we got foods. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's my birthday. <laughs> I'm 10. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm 37 and I'm finally growing up, I think. I'm maturing soon. I think I'll I'm mature soon, yeah. But yeah, we got we're glad we got to do this hike. Um we're about halfway to Evans Creek. We hiked for an hour and a half, two hours probably already. And it's a lot of the same. You just go up and down through the forest. It's really nice, but yeah, it gets it's pretty much the same view the whole time. But yeah, there is much nicer beaches. There's about, they say there's seven or eight, I think it's seven or eight campsites along the lake. You can hike the whole lake, I think, on a trail, but yeah, there's there's various campsites along the way. And then obviously you can go up into Valhalla. But you gotta know that you're probably gonna either stay overnight or do a ungodly amount of hours in a day of hiking. So you'll be exhausted, but it can be done. Uh, if you have a truck, you're much better off. We don't have a truck, so there's so many trails we can't really get to. Because when you read about them, they say, oh, have a four-wheel drive or whatever. Like, So, you know, we're very limited with our car, but we try to do the best we can. And yeah, there's like tons of hikes around here that you just can't get to with a car, really. You could, but yeah, I don't want to beat my car up. So, um, but really nice hiking trail. Highly suggest coming down and do it. Even if you're just coming to uh, hang out at one of these beaches, it's well worth it. All right, so we've been here for a few hours actually, just enjoying ourselves. And not a bad place to spend a birthday. And you know what? Toodaloo deuce to me. Toodaloo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's pretty. It's so bad. No, I think it's bad. Okay, well, she thinks it's okay. But no, I'm not gonna keep going. But you guys get the idea, alright? Bye.